Hey everybody, Rose Mutter here, and welcome to my reaction and discussion for episode 21 of Spy Family. Last episode was Anya getting into her usual shenanigans with a, like, take your kid to work day. So it was interesting, we actually got to see Lloyd in his regular job, uh, his civilian job as a uh, psychiatrist, a doctor at uh, the local hospital, and of course Anya just getting into trouble while there. Um, but there was a moment where Lloyd realizes maybe that he has not been paying attention to Anya, like accidentally uh, Anya just like getting into trouble and then just quickly um, playing with like a sandbox that Lloyd put down is like, oh, the kids play with this and then we can kind of like interpret how they're feeling based on how they play with this. And then Anya just like threw everything into the sandbox and he was like, oh my gosh, like she's got a lot going on. And then he realizes like, hey, this is an orphan. Uh, who, I don't know her backstory, I don't know what happened to her family, so of course she's got some stuff going on, and maybe I need to be a little bit kinder to her. So that was pretty sweet, but I'm very excited about this episode because we're getting more into the silver-haired woman who was introduced finally in the last episode as someone who also is working at the hospital. Uh, so she seems like she's going to be a more front and center character based on the preview for this episode, and... Yor is going to be shown a little bit of jealousy, so I'm really looking forward to that of that dynamic of like, oh, there's this attractive woman that works with Lloyd, and like she's coming around and hanging out with him, and you know, Lord, Lord, I keep saying Lord, it's like I'm putting their shipping name together. Yor like sees this as just a family of convenience, although she loves Anya, but she sees Lloyd as just like, you know, someone helping her out. Uh, but maybe she's realizing that she's starting to have feelings for him. So finally, you know, with just a couple of episodes to go in this uh, season, we finally might have one of the characters, like, actually explore that. So I'm really excited for this. Let's jump into this episode. Can't wait to watch it. And I'm going to give you guys my thoughts afterwards, as always. Oh, there she is. Fiona Frost. That's a cool name. She, she's she got a cool design. I like her already. I don't know anything about her, but obviously you can tell she's icy. Maybe emotionless. And of course they're going to be working together and this is where the jealousy is going to come from. And again, like I could see how an attractive woman all of a sudden hanging around Lloyd a lot is going to maybe raise some eyebrows. No, okay. Wait, not too late. Are they going to do something to your? <laughs> oh, okay, they're saying, like, what? It's not too late for Operation Strix? Good. Good, it better. I was like, this woman seems... Whoa, what's this? <laughs> okay. I don't know if she actually has a thing for Lloyd. I'm assuming that there's more to it than that. Like, what that's all about. Obviously, she has a lot of authority. Oh, I feel like... Okay, they're saying all this, but I don't know. I feel like there's more to her than that. He has cool, cool code name, cool regular name, cool code name. Okay, Nightfall. But that was interesting where she's like, well, if something were to happen to that other wife, is it literally just because what, she doesn't trust Lloyd to complete the mission? Is it because she wants some sort of, I don't know, a <sighs> notoriety for being able to like complete this mission? Does she think that Yor might fuck things up and she's like, you know, we can't trust this civilian woman to do what needs to be done? But I feel like there's more to her than meets the eye. I feel like just with like Lloyd, maybe she'll kind of be a little bit more 
emotional maybe uh, open up a little bit more throughout mate or maybe she'll see yours like some weird kind of rival as an obstacle so that would be interesting to like have a little bit of a i don't know like how do how do i describe it um like a conflict between it's like a weird like triangle like a romance triangle but not really, because I don't think that this Fiona woman feels anything for Lloyd, but it'd be weird if she did. But also not weird, because, you know, he's <laughs> you can be an emotional spa all you want, but, like, she's still human, and he's very attractive. And he also is kind of, like, well-known, so maybe she respects him. But she better not lay a, a hand on Yora, though Yora, definitely, she can hold her own. Oh, now she's getting all down on herself, and then she's going to see this woman who, you know, is on Lloyd's level, intelligent, competent. Oh, and then she's going to feel all upset and be like, ah, oh, I fail as a wife. <laughs> is she like is she coming in to just kind of like see what yours all about being like hmm let's get a feel for this woman and see if i need to kill her or not get her out of the way Oh god, this is just going to be all awkward for a little bit. Maybe Yor will ask about, like, what's Lloyd's job about? Like, he doesn't talk about it very much. Here's the jealousy. Yor, come on, you... She doesn't compare to you. Oh my gosh, okay, maybe I underestimated this woman. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Oh, if only Anya were here to read her mind. Jesus. Okay, yeah, she sees her as an obstacle. Like, they're like eyeing each other. Of like, damn, she's pretty too. <laughs> I love when they have like these stare downs, these mental battles with each other. It feels like every person who comes in is like this. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> Oh my gosh. He's like, maybe you're not suited for it. Maybe you should go. Damn. This woman is intense. It's like, how pathetic. Fiona's like, don't you dare say that about Lloyd. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Jesus. Oh, no, don't you dare. Oh, this woman. <laughs> oh, yes. And then Anya's gonna, like, read this woman's mind, like, don't you talk about my mama that way. Oh, God, he looks so good. I love it when his hair is all, like... Scruffy like that. What 
What's the meaning of this ancient nightfall? They are communicating by separating their mouth movements and sounds. God damn, I want to confirm Operation Strix's progress. And of course, Anya. <laughs> confirm what? There's like so much going on right now. It's so cool. And Anya's like, I try and keep up with all of this. <laughs> Agent Twilight is walking the dog crucial to the operation. Well, yeah, dogs need walks. Shouldn't you make this woman run errands? Is she uncooperative? Is she a bad wife? What are you getting at? Ooh, I love that Lloyd's kind of sticking up for her, maybe. Stuck playing house, a disservice to the world. Yeah, she definitely admires him. I propose we reevaluate the operation. This doesn't concern you. Ooh. Good. <laughs> That's right, you stick up for your wife. Anya, stick up for your mama. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, okay. Here I was thinking, I was like, no, she couldn't clearly be in love with her. Oh my god. <laughs> I love this. What is going on? This is amazing. I was like, no way, but okay. I thought maybe she just didn't, thought that Yor might like screw up the mission, but nope, she is in love with Lloyd. And I don't blame her one bit, like I said. Oh, Anya, you need to step in and stop this from happening. But of course, like, she needs to get in good with Anya, and Anya's like, nope. I like regular mama. I love this. I love that, like, Yuri is in love with his sister, and this woman is in love with Lloyd. Amazing. Okay, I love the fact that we've got, like I said, I knew it. I knew she wasn't just, like, some emotionless cold woman. Hehehehe. <laughs> This is also very awkward, but I love this episode already. There's just so much happening. Anya's like, oh, I want to see the face. I want to see her face. She's going to be like, oh, dark. Just like, I have to stop this woman. I got to get this woman out of here. Maybe she's going to embarrass the woman and be like, you are not going to replace my mom. I hate that she got in yours minds like that, but I, she already has a bit of a complex, right? Feeling like she isn't good enough for Lloyd. <laughs> oh gosh. And the sad thing is yours not far off the mark. I mean, Lloyd wouldn't say that stuff about her, but. Aww. I feel so bad for her when she gets down on herself. Oh my gosh, Anya's so cute. Anya, you better help out here. Yeah, <laughs> amazing. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I love, like I said, we actually have, <laughs> we have a foil here. <laughs> this lady is wild. <laughs> oh, Anya. Oh. Oh, but now she's talking shit about Anya. Is she imagining, like, her training Anya? Aww. Yeah, this woman would be scary as a mother. Oh, that would not be good. 
<laughs> yep, about I expected. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Tylet, I propose I switch places with your current wife. Aww. There you go, Anya. You show what a good mama she is. Oh, that is the perfect reaction. That is appropriate. <laughs> I don't want your cocoa. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Perfect family, right? Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh. Oh. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, oh, just, I, I know, oh, God, why is he so, mm, mm, yes, <laughs> I know it's part of it as an act, but, oh, oh, my goodness. No, I don't want to believe it's a fake smile. No, I want to believe that's his true emotions. He's just, a, she's just assuming that that's like fake, but I want to believe that he has some real affection for your, even just the way that he treats Anya. I wonder if she's going to come around and be like, maybe she actually does make Lloyd happy. Maybe I should step back. Oh, the subtle truth. Maybe she's going to realize, like, wait a minute. Does he feel something for her? Is she realizing this? Oh, maybe she's had that moment of, like, oh, shoot. He's, he's slipping. That is very interesting. Oh, he's gonna. I wonder if she's gonna be like, oh no, is there something going on between them where he's like gonna catch up to her? He's gonna be like, what was the, all that about? And then she's gonna be like, you love her, don't you? Oh, oh man, there's so many, so many feelings happening right now. Look at that. She is like, she's broken up. And here she was talking about how like no emotions. Is she going to confess? Okay. Nope. Never mind. That's kind of sad, but at the same time, the way he was talking, she was talking about Yor and, and Anya, I was like, ugh. No, she's not going to give up, is she? Okay, so she's going to be a, a thorn in the side of your... She's not... All right, it's nice to have, like, someone actually... Well, there's Yuri. Yuri is kind of, like, a little bit of the thorn in their, in their sides as well. And he could be dangerous working for the secret police. And then, of course, now she 
is trying to get in on things and she works with Lloyd. They're supposed to work together. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Damn. That's not every, that's not all of it, right? No, we're only 17 minutes in. This happened before, too, where I'm like, wait, what? It's done already? But then there was a little something afterwards, too. But, all right, that was really good. Um, I was thinking maybe it was just your was going to be, like, jealous of this woman kind of coming in. But, no, it turns out she is actually going to be uh, a little bit of an issue. Like, being in... <laughs> I just love how both of them have somebody who is secretly in love with them, and for your it just happens to be her brother. <laughs> and then, of course, the Anya, who knows what this woman is up to, so she's going to do whatever she can to keep that from happening. But I love it at the end, where she was just like, Lloyd is the one who taught me to hide emotions, and then she could see that deep down he's letting... He's letting his emotions slip a bit and what did she say like you've been playing house too long you're getting soft because how could you resist the charms of Anya and your right just that little smile oh that smile I'm just like damn even if he was fake and like I would be like oh <laughs> I'd be a little bit in love too oh the first bit of jealousy oh wait a minute I assume the jealousy thing was about your although she her thing wasn't necessarily jealousy, maybe a little bit, but like more about how she feels inadequate to be Lloyd's wife. And we're actually having these two together. I've been talking about like, we haven't seen enough of Bond's like, or yeah, Bond and his Bond with Anya. Hmm. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's the penguin that he won for her at the aquarium. No. <laughs> oh. <gasps> is Bond jealous of the penguin? He is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he ripped up the penguin because he's jealous that she was giving him attention. Oh, Bond. We are getting a Bond little mini episode. I'm so happy. And now Anya's probably going to get all mad at Bond and be like, you're not my friend anymore. Oh, yes. <laughs> penguin bad stole Anya. Oh, my goodness. That's such a dog thing to say and to feel. She's gonna be like, I hate you. Oh, she did. Don't ever. No. Oh, no. Why is this already so sad? Oh. Oh, Bond. Does Yor know how to sew? Is she gonna totally. Yeah. She, <laughs> she made it worse. <laughs> is he even dead or I bet Lloyd's gonna come in and be like, let me do this. Your is me as a wife, just like not capable of doing a lot of stuff, but I try, damn it. <laughs> oh no, why is this just all? Oh. Yeah, I knew Lloyd was gonna fix him. And it's so cute that she's like, you got it for me, dad. That's why he's important to me. Oh, God, this is such a good episode. Why do I feel like Bond's going to do something that's going to make me, like, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, why she's so cute. Oh, I mean, better than when your patched him up. He looks kind of Frankenstein-y. <laughs> Oh, 
Somebody commented about how there is an episode of Spy Family because I got the scar. I got this scar on my face from getting something, you know, a uh, sunspot removed. And they're like, oh, there's an episode of Spy Family coming up that you're going to... Aww. So there we go. That's it. Scars are, a, you know, Valor metal. And he's... Oh my gosh. I knew it. I knew he was going to do something sweet for Anya. Aww. Oh, and I love the the fact that Lloyd actually pays attention to things that Anya cares about. Maybe she's like, can we can all play together? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> behalf of the peanuts. Oh. 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 Aww. <laughs> Cute. Aww, yay! I'm so happy that we got a Bond moment with Anya. <laughs> this is so cute. God damn, that was adorable. <laughs> okay. What is this? Okay. The Underground Tennis Tournament. Okay, who are these people? It almost looks like Lloyd is, like that sort of looks like Lloyd undercover. Uh, is the woman with the blonde hair, is that, is that Fiona dressed? What is going on? What, what are, what's happening? Okay, so we're, we're doing a tennis thing and Anya's involved as well. Okay, interesting. And it looks like the whole episode is just going to be about this tennis tournament. Okay, cool. All right, guys, so I gotta say that's probably one of my favorite episodes we've had in a while. We've got the official introduction of the gray, the silver-haired woman, Fiona Frost, who is in love with Lloyd. Everybody's in love with Lloyd. Becky is in love with Lloyd. Uh, Fiona, I'm sure you're a little bit. She doesn't, she doesn't know it yet, but she's in love with Lloyd. <laughs> I'm calling it. Uh, but yes, yeah, so Fiona wants to take over as... The wife and wants to get rid of your by any means possible to complete the mission and also because she wants to actually be his wife uh your once again feeling feeling inadequate and it doesn't help that she thinks that lloyd is talking shit about her at work and that was really nasty of yona and i'm mad at her for that because i don't want anyone to say bad things about my girl and anya now having to be on the lookout of trying to stop this woman from uh from taking over your spot. I love that. I love that there's this conflict that isn't just coming from Yuri. And I <laughs> I can approve of this a little bit more than a brother being in love with his sister and being jealous um, of her family. This feels at least more appropriate. And then of course, oh, this that sweet little moment with, with Bond and Anya. I'm glad we finally have been talking about it. I'm like, we need more Bond. You can't introduce a cute dog character and then just push him in the background, especially when he's got special abilities. He needs to be able to use those abilities. Um, but yes, that was, it was short. It wasn't as much as I would like to see, but it's something. And it made me cry a little bit because like, you know, there's such a like kid thing to, to just say that you hate and to say that to a dog who understands, like most dogs, they understand tone over words a lot of the time. So maybe the dogs can still understand that. But like he knows, he understands English and he he understood that. And it was just like, oh, so sad. But I'm glad they made up. It's very cute. Um, so I'm looking forward to more Fiona. Um, I feel like she's a character that's also going to grow. You know what? I also didn't like Damien. And then he kind of grew on me. And this woman... I don't like her methods. I don't like what she's trying to do because your is the best and this woman does not compare. But I also understand her motivation and, you know, her jealousy. And I thought that that moment where she thinks she knows everything about Lloyd and then, like, she sees, you know, she thinks it's all fake. And then he, she's like, I know his little... His little slips, you know, like the way that he, his body, his fate, like I understand. And then in that moment, when he was smiling at Yor, she, he, she saw something where she's like, wait a minute, does he actually have feelings for her? 
oh no, this is a problem. Um, but yeah, now they're going to be working together on the next mission, so they're going to be interacting more. And I wonder if Lloyd notices too, like he notices that she also is being kind of weird and coming to visit him. So maybe he's picked up on that. So that's going to be interesting if he knows that she's in love with him. They have to work together. He's starting to develop feelings for, for your... That's going to be a whole thing that should be super interesting for future episodes as well. I don't know what to make of this tennis episode coming up, but I'm sure there's going to be some some fun shenanigans if this is the mission that they have to work on together, uh, Lloyd. and. But I'm like, but why is Anya there also? So many questions, but we'll just have to wait and see. So next episode um, should be a fun one. So I love this one. I'm sure you guys could tell. I just, ah, so many feelings, so many feelings. So anyway, that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this episode and stay tuned next time for episode 22. Until then, bye guys. Special shout outs to my top tier patrons. Emily Hornsby, Zorn Ether, Revealing Storm, Asborn Kennedy, Icognito, Harry Gazip, and Jared Fan.